The accusation stems from the liquidation of the state airline at a time when Guinea's opposition leader Selu Diallo served as Guinea's transport minister two decades ago. He is expected to appear before the country's Economic and Financial Crimes Court to answer to the accusations of fraud and self-enrichment. His accusers are saying that Air Guinea was sold at a very low price. As such, Diallo made money from the sales of the company's assets. These accusations are floating in now as the Guinea's new army rulers have launched an anti-corruption campaign targeting past government officials and executives. Meanwhile, an official from Diallo's party said the former presidential candidate has not received any court summons as he has been out of the country since March. Some people are thinking this is a drive plot to stamp out the opposition to the military government led by Mamadi Dumbuya, for which reasons only the outcome of this court summon in some days ahead will give an orientation. The real question is, what does the military government gain in ousting opposition?